to the uh, FIFA Women's World Cup and indeed to this stage of the competition, the semi-finals, but assistant referees and Vincenzia Amidome serves as fourth official for today's tie. Chief for the video assistant referee. But this is Desiree Ellis' side, the uh, South African team, Banyana Banyana, line up with three changes from the side that started in their 1-0 victory over Tunisia for South Africa. This Total Energies Women's Africa... Here's Bruce Moape, the man in charge of Zambia. He's coached, qualified. And then for Desiree Ellis, it's successive FIFA Women's World Cup. Mapepa. Could be dangerous as this ball goes in where very little support waiting inside that 18 yard area. Smith has gone into a good position. As Mutlalo is dropping back to help out Karabo Tlamini. Grace Chanda still going. That's a fantastic challenge from the South African left back. And now potentially a chance to pace. Down that far flank again, Grace Chanda getting into a good position. So too, Lubanji's there, and this one is deflected wide. That an incredible chance for Zambia. They failed to take it, but showing their prowess down that left flank again, and South Africa's defence left scrambling. Not once, not twice, but at least three times from a long way out. As again, ball is in towards the danger area, but no immediate or apparent board against Cameroon in a goalless draw. South Africa looks threatening. Super Senra gets a touch on this, but Musonda comes out and <laughs> a little bit of Chisamba, they call her. Oh, this has been gifted to Grace Chanda. Grace Chanda with a shot here, and Andy Lithamini to the rescue for South Africa. But it is all Zambia at the moment. They are applying pressure. It's with a break. Chanda down this near side flank, going around Nukumatlo inside the 18-yard area. That is a well-timed challenge from Nukumatlo. Out for the corner it goes. Chanda's down. Matlo tidying up in the area, but now we have players down on both ends of the pitch for Zam. Mapepa. It's comfortably cleared by the South African defence. A touch away from Khadi. And stolen possession. Clear challenge is the referee. Belemu with a shot here that's going wide, but a little catch from Zamini just keeps it in play. The concern for Zambia is that uh, Mwemba is not yet back on the pitch. I can tell you that she is standing, though, with this effort. Uh, problems here. Mapepa into a danger area, tidied up by Flamini. Towards Uchumba. Lovely return ball for the very, very fast Mapepa. Take quickly and does so. Immediately under pressure, but gets away from two before going down. The free kick awarded to South Africa after the foul on the side. Race. I mean, he floated ball, the tall players go up, it's goal-bound, but it's well handled by Musonda. Outside of the boot, pass into the path of Chanda, who might try a shot at goal, indeed she does. He drags her effort wide. Grace Chanda, holding on to her left ankle. Copper Queen support is vocal. It's wildly enthusiastic. South Africa yet to gift a little bit of space. You don't want to be doing that. She is so ridiculously quick. And Uchuba Lubanji looking to defend against Grace Chanda, who's brought this ball wonderfully under control. Real chance here, and Mapepa has overrun it. So too Kamede, who looks to be hurt, but it's kept alive. The referee will stop play. Kamede is going to be okay. With that, a glorious chance that is gone a begging for Zambia. Separated by 45 places in the world ranking, South Africa highest at 58. And the Super Senwe is tripped up. Free kick to South Africa in a very dangerous position. Much to the like to take on from this sort of range. Very quick reflexes, wonderful athletic ability. She floats the ball in, the header is there, it looked to be on target, but it's lacking in any power and comfortable for Musonda. Lasane runs onto it, first time ball, Super Simba overruns it here, Jane with a hit, it's off Khadiete, but again Musonda's there. South Africa had their own glorious chance, mere minutes after Zambia had one. The use of her height, this ball has floated nowhere near her though, and it lands kindly for South Africa's... Closer to the goalkeeper this time. It's coming down on Uchuba Lubanji who heads the ball goal bound, but Andile Flamini is able to pluck that ball out of the air. It lacked power. 
Yeah, South Africa can breathe a collective sigh of relief. Pepper has gone gliding beyond her as we break into the final five minutes of this opening half. But Pepper keeps this ball in play. It's out for the corner, surely. Pepper with another telling run. Mapepa with a brilliant run. And now to Mapepa. Zambia looking dangerous here. Mapepa might drive wide. She does indeed. Gets the shot in here. And it's straight at Andy Lidlamini. Well positioned, the Sundowns keeper. And is able to bring that ball under control. A little pressure by uh, Khuale. And long range shot coming from Khuale. Some pass out wide. Mahaya is looking to get this ball central. Jumain Super said we're a little too far away from the action. And Mutalo back from Mahaya. Jani tries to drive from range, but it's drilled wide of Musonda's goal. To Tasane. Looking to combine with Huale, who tries her luck from range as well. Thousand for beating South Africa and making the final, and another five for winning the title as Zambia's defeat gets so. Good recovery from Mbane. Here's Katongo. Delivery looks crisp. Zambia looks threatening. And Noko Matlo was at a clash of heads between uh, Uchumbu Lubanji and Noko Matlo. They've both gone down. And Mutalo. Delivery into Tasane, who's in a danger area here. She goes down, but the referee has pointed to the penalty mark. South Africa, against the run of play, have won a penalty here. A great charge, using her pace, and a phenomenal delivery. Tessane in behind the Zambian defence. Mwimba has been adjudged. Indeed, the indication has come. It is a free kick just outside the 18-yard area. And is Super Senwe stands over it another. As we hit the hour mark, Zambia nil, South Africa nil. Piece on the edge of the 18 yard area. Super Senwe looks to direct it and it's been deflected away by the wall. Out for the corner. It looks to pass that ball inside to Huale. Return ball didn't quite come where Super Senwe was hoping. Mwimbe remains down on the turf for Zambia. Looking to bring Mapepe into play and that ball is skewed into the side netting. Oh, delivery is decent, certainly better than decent. The keeper and player come together. Go, 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 go. This is your goal. Wonderful follow up from uh, Huale and Mahaya. And Mahaya and Musonda have come together in challenging for that ball. Courageous keeping and a brave attempt from Mahaya to find her second of this tournament. Very well circulated uh, by the South Africans, uh, Jermaine just locating Nutolo with the inch perfect cross into that 18 yard box, just locating that penalty spot. But here, just a tip for the second chance ball. It fell kindly for Zambia in the continental competition. Grace Chanda looks to get a shot away here, and it's not very far away from scaring Zamini in the South African goal. Once again, you see the combination of uh, Chanda as well as Mapepa. The save of the match to keep Zambia in this tie. South Africa looking to finish strongest. Play on here, Super Senwe. Super Senwe looking to create space. The feedback, and now South Africa with a glorious chance. Well saved by Musonda. Fantastic save by the Zambian number one. And the South African bench cannot believe that they are not in front. What a save. What a. Sasane. Lovely ball here, Tassane. The referee saying the uh, set piece was taken just a little bit. The referee might want to go and uh, check at the screen, bring the video assistant referee into play, but they will get back. Six minutes of time has been added on. The referee will head to the VAR to turn uh, into the body of uh, Tembo, but Tembo getting her body in the way to deny passage to the ball. A 
back onto the field she goes. Penalty! Penalty has been a in the Kusafa Cup. Can she do it again? Mutlalo for South Africa has tucked this ball home confidently. She's got a second of this tournament. Both have come from the penalty mark. But South Africa, importantly, lead deep in added time at the end of the 90 in this semi-final tie. South Africa can smell the final from here. Can they hold on? Will they advance? Beautifully dispatched by Mutlalo. Taken advantage there by Linda Mutalo, who slots that one comfortably just to put the South Africans in front. But once again, VAR 